and your experience there? It was fabulous. It was the discovering of a of a different ways of doing things, of a, of the ability to do large amount of surgery, of taking care of very sick patients, and working as a team. It was also the environment that was physician-led, with uh, over time realized the the benefit of having a dyad of an administrator and a physician leading departments, leading units, leading teams. And their approach to medicine there is, is world renowned and, and many people consider the Mayo Clinic one of the, if not the greatest medical center in the world. Are they deserving of, of, of that? In a biased way, I would say they are deserving. I witnessed for many years the dedication, the ethos, the, the fact that it is a team approach, that there is a dedicated physician that sees your, your itinerary during the time you are there and will keep seeing you over time, will communicate with, your referring, with the referring local physician and will take great care of making sure that things are taken care of during your stay in Rochester, that the, the that every I is dotted and every T is crossed. And in Ken Burns' documentary, it's in the title, Hope. Hope is in the mission statement still to this day for the Mayo Clinic. How critical of a component of, of their mission is, is hope, giving patients hope? For many patients, Rochester, Jacksonville, Scottsdale, the Mayo Clinic Hospital are the end of the road. They have tried to see many physicians, medical centers, not exactly satisfied with the answers or not having any answer. And so many patients comes, come in every day hoping to have an answer, hoping to be better, hoping to be relieved of the pain or, or the question they have regarding their own care. So that is very alive today yet. And in the documentary, we hear of the breakthroughs discovered at the Mayo Clinic. Are they still doing that today? Are they still on the cutting edge of when it comes to uh, medical breakthroughs? V very much, and probably more in proportion than they used to during the first half of this, of the, during the last century. The, the Mayo Clinic has <coughs> realized and made the decision that being a destination medical center would be in their in their best interest, in the best interest of the patient that comes and visit. And so I think that uh, this very much um, at the cutting edge wants to be and, uh, and very much aware of the competition, the high quality medical care that there are in other cities. And uh, I think they are competing for value. And what do you think is their greatest strength? That, that is a, There's on a model for other healthcare facilities around the country and around the world? The, really, the patient come first. They say it, they live it. I saw and lived it for many years. This is the vision, the value of the Mayo Clinic. The patient could always come first. And did you bring with you from the Mayo Clinic a number of practices that you're using today that you think improve I, healthcare at, at UVM and the UVM Health Network? I hope I did. And I'm trying every day living the physician and organization. I lead the organization, the medical group, uh, with the idea that the patient come first, that uh, the, everybody's member of a team. I believe in the administrator, physician dyad. I believe in the mission and vision of my own organization, of the UVM Health Network, and I'm very proud of being part of it.